In this session, we're going to look at the release approval process. We have a release that is currently in the status in QA, so there are QA tests going on in QA environment. The change sets that will hold the changes, one of them is still in the QA environment, the other one has been tested successfully and is ready for deployment. The goal now is when the last chain set related to the release gets tested and is successful, it will be transitioned to the ready for deployment state. So looking at this chain set, we will consider it successful in the QA environment, so we transition it to the ready for deployment. And when the last chain set is transitioned to ready for deployment, the release gets transitioned automatically to the waiting for approval state. The waiting for approval state will kick off a rule in the system and that rule will add to the release a list of approvals based on the applications that are participating in the release and based on the number of levels of approval that are needed for each application. So we see here that the complex app only needs two approvals, the mainframe app need, needs three approvals, one from the DBA, one from the development manager, or one, and one from the release manager, for instance. Each of these approvals and the approval roles have users that are, are having this role in the system, and these users will get an email from the system, and in the inbox, of, we will see here that there is a request for approval for that release, when I open this email, that's the email the user gets. It says, for that release, we need your approval. It's for the complex app. You're asked, and you can view the topic uh, by clicking here, or you can just approve it. When approving it, we will see that going back to our release and refreshing our view, that the first approval level one for the complex app has approved, and we will be waiting for the next four approvals to be approved to be added to the release and then the release will go into the ready for deployment state and the, re the release can be deployed into the production environment based on the windows that are available for deployment in that production environment. So this is the multi-level approval process for a release. How this is set up? It's set up by defining roles. So we have here in the system Looking at the roles, we have the approval level 1, level 2, level 3, and we have users of Clarif. And these users, for instance, we have the, uh, the complex app approval level 3. We just say that this user gets the approval level 3 role for that application. So he will be the level 3 approver for the complex app, and we can have so approvers for level 2 for the banking app, for the client uh, for the client app, level 3, level 1, and this is the way that we implement the release approval process. It's currently like that in this example that this approval process is started once a release gets in the ready for deployment state, but it could also be that some approvals are needed before a release can go to the user acceptance to the QA and this would, could be implemented the same way. It's also possible that there are four level of approvers. It's just a flexible system where we can add any level and give any name. In this case, the roles were approver and the user or client approver and banking approver, but it, it could be any name as long as they get the right role for the right application.